You mentioned last year in Jackson Hole that you viewed unemployment as cyclical. Um, do you still believe it's cyclical and not structural? Well, uh, just like my answer a moment ago, um, I think that uh, probably about two percentage points or so, uh, say the difference between 7.6 and 5.6 is cyclical, and the rest of it is uh, what economists would call frictional or structural. So, uh, you, okay, so it's, uh, uh, have you done any, so your studies you think maybe 5% structural and 2% cyclical? Well, most importantly, I, so far we don't see much evidence that the structural component of unemployment has increased very much during this period. It's something we've been worried about because with people unemployed for a year or two years or three years, they lose their skills, they lose their attachment to the labor market, and the concern is they'll become unemployable. So far, it still appears to us that um, we can attain an unemployment rate. We, the country, can attain an unemployment rate somewhere in the fives. All right, you know, uh, the most recent uh, FOMC minutes uh, didn't specifically address the 7% unemployment target, but you, you mentioned it in your press conference after the... Uh, was that... 7% target uh, discussed uh, and agreed on in the meeting? Yes, it was. 7% um, is not a target. It was intended to be indicative of the amount of improvement we want to see in the labor market. So I described a series of, of conditions that would need to be met for us to proceed with our um, moderation of, of purchases. Um, we, have, uh, we have a go-around where everybody uh, in, in the committee, including those who are not voting, uh, get to express their general views, and uh, there, was, there was good support for both the broad plan, which I described, and for the use of 7% as indicative of the kind of uh, improvement we're trying to get. 